that's a great lead over to other plantations because I do want to spend a little time on Mount Vernon because you, you do have a few items in it and it's, it's the irony actually of it that um, before COVID, whenever that mm -hmm. perception wise is, um, but earlier this year you made a tweet that Christine Coleman actually retweeted mm -hmm. of Mount Vernon selling a certain magnet. <laughs> Um, I'll maybe put a picture on the screen mm -hmm. for it. It's Washington's Tees. And I actually brought that to class, that tweet and mm -hmm. that picture, and was like, we were talking about Mont Vernon and Washington at the time. I was like, why would you want to sell this? <laughs> um, I, and I think they stopped selling it, right? Yes, they, they removed uh, the, um, the teeth, I would say that perhaps two days after the, the tweet. Because <laughs> what happened is, I, I live in Virginia, then I live in Arlington, and it did, um, then uh, Mount Vernon is about 30, uh, then it's 20 minutes, then I, I drive, I am at Mount Vernon. Then I went there a number of times. I did uh, then, the, then the research sometimes just to, to, to visit. Um, and then at that point, I had to submit um, uh, the, 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 the final manuscript with uh, the, the photographs. And I, I needed a, a photograph of the, the entrance of uh, the museum uh, where uh, the exhibition mm -hmm. um, and th th we have the the wall of names for chapter two, and this was near Christmas, uh, and indeed the picture that is in the book is weird because there are the the Christmas trees, but it's part of that. <laughs> but then I went there, and then I always go to the the area, and I advise anybody who is doing this kind of research never miss the the shop. Uh, because the gift shop is the place to go because there are a lot of stories that are being told in the museum and then in the grounds and the docents and the real story sometimes <laughs> is being told in the gift shop. Then I was seeing that and I saw that that was, it's a sort of curiosity. It's this idea of selling things that are curious and mm -hmm. perhaps funny, which is then in theory, it would be funny to sell the, the teeth. The problem is that the teeth included and the teeth uh, of enslaved people, not, we do not know if, if from the plantation, um, but we know that they, the, the teeth of enslaved people were used to, to make that, that kind of um, a denture and then um, the tweet had an impact and circulated and they ended up uh, removing and the power of social media and public history and, and memory. Yeah, well, you, you accomplished the great deeds there. <laughs> or stole great magnets from the refrigerators. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, then I, I just regretted that I didn't get one as uh, to have a, a record of that. But I have the, the picture. But I had after that um, a colleague, um, then Cameron Monroe uh, at University of California, Santa Cruz, that he is an archeologist. And he contacted Mount Vernon in order to see in terms of the archeology, span what could be done because they have that set of uh, that denture. They have uh, uh -huh. the, 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 the magnet is a reproduction, but they have the, and apparently there is something that can be done with that regarding uh, then, I don't know what happened with that. But uh, it was not just uh, something negative. I think that there are interesting things that you can do with that, yeah. then selling it as a, as a souvenir.